Hello everyone, this video has been brought to you by Unacademy. If you want us to te teach some specific topic, then you should leave a comment in the comment section of this video. My name is Mohit Gupta and in this video I will be talking about Cohen and Sutherland clipping algorithm. First of all, let us see why do we require a clipping algorithm. Clipping can be very tricky. Suppose this is your computer screen and you have an object that is like this. So these parts of this object lie outside your computer screen. They are not visible. So the computer has to now form a new polygon with new edges that can be displayed on your computer screen. So that is why we require the clipping algorithms. We have to clip it here, here and here. So what is Cohen and Sutherland clipping algorithm? It divides the lines and edges into two cases. First is trivially except Second is trivially reject. These two are the cases that the Sutherland algorithm divides the lines and edges into. For each line or edge. So, if we have this box as the window, as the computer screen, and this point is x minimum, x maximum, y minimum, y maximum. So, Let us see the cases in which we trivially accept or reject any line segment. This is again the clipping window x minimum, x maximum, y minimum, y maximum. So, if we have any line segment that is x0, y0 to x1, y1 then if x0 less than x minimum and x1 also less than x minimum and or y1 less than y0 less than y minimum and y1 also less than y minimum or x not greater than x maximum and y y sorry x1 greater than x maximum or y not greater than y minimum and y1 also greater than y minimum then in all these cases we trivially reject why let us see each case this is the clipping window 
if the line segment is from here to here okay so whole of it lies outside the clipping window we do not require it so we reject it if the line segment is here to here the same case whole of it is outside the clipping window we do not need it reject it if it lies here the same case if it lies here the same case so that is why in all these cases we trivially reject when do we trivially accept if x lies between x minimum and x maximum y lies between y minimum y maximum then in these cases we trivially accept why because these cases will be inside the window completely for the rest of the cases like this case or this case or this case we will see what we will do so let us first formalize something for the cases which do not lie in either trivially reject or either trivially accept we will have something called as a abrl code what is this abrl this center box here is our viewing window and these axes are a b r l what does this mean above bottom right and left clipping edges okay so what is an abrl code it is zero if above the above edge sorry one if above the above edge one if above the above edge zero if below the above edge and that is how this will work now let us try to write down abrl for each of the nine cells that we have here a b r l this cell is above the above edge it is above the below edge so it is not below the below edge that is it will be counted as zero it is not at the right of the right edge so that will be zero and it is at the left of the left edge so this will be the code for this cell it is above it is not below it is not at the right and it is not at the left of the left edge for this one it is above it is at right it is not below it is not left for this one it is at the left of the left edge it is not above not below not right for this one it, it is at the right of the right edge not left not above not below for this one this is below not above at the left and not right for this one it is below not above not right not left for this one 
we have it is at the right it is not at the left it is below and it is not above for this one we have 0 0 0 0 why because it lies inside and we are to look for all the points that have this ABRL code so you are you have to be clear with this concept first and then we move on let us take some examples in this grid we have this line in the let us name it as AB and we see that the code for A is 0 0 0 0 B is 0 0 0 0 and both are 0 trivially except Now let us see what this case has. We have A as 1, 0, 0, 1. B has 1, 0, 1, 0. So we do not have both as 0. In the cases like this where we do not have both as 0, we will take the AND. result is 1 0 0 0 this result is not equals to 0 0 0 0 this implies that no part of this line lies in the viewing window that is this one so trivially reject Let us take some more cases. Here we have a tricky case. Let us see. This point is A. This point is B. So for A, the code is 0, 1, 0 and 0. So the B's code is 0 0 1 0 now we take the AND since both are not 0 and we get as after ANDing both the codes we have all 0 this means there is some part of line some part of line inside viewing window so what do we do we clip the window using the edges first we clip along this edge and mark this new edge name it as C now we have C's code as 0 0 0 0 and B has 0 0 1 0 now we apply the AND again we have two non-zero codes and we get AND as 0 again so we will have to again split again bisect sorry again we will have to check now we clip along this edge and get this point mark it as D now we have D has code 0 0 0 0 C has code 0 0 0 0 this implies trivially except so the final line segment that we have after clipping is CD let us look at this case now 
we have this point as A and this point as B. ABRL code for A is 1001 zero, zero, one. for B is 0000 zero, 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 zero. and gives 0000. Zero, zero, zero. Since one of the input codes is non zero, therefore in intersection with viewing window. Now we will have to again follow the same procedure. We will clip it. First we will clip it along the left. So we form a new point called as C. C has the code 1000 zero, 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 and B has the code 0000. Zero, zero, zero. So now again we take the AND and get 0000. zero, zero, zero. Still two non-zero entities are giving output as 0 so we will again have to clip this time we clip along this point and form D now D has 0000, zero, zero, zero and B has 0000 zero, zero, zero. both are zeros so we accept and the final line segment after clipping is BD. So let us take a recap of what we did just now once again. Both were 0 in this segment we trivially accept both were outside both were non-zero and result was giving non-zero output we trivially reject. In this case we had to keep on inspecting until and is 0 and both inputs also 0 and the same was the case with this one and this one so that is what the Cohen and Sutherland clipping algorithm all about and that's all for this video you you can subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash unacademy more videos in this same series are Sutherland Hodgman polygon clipping algorithm if you have any doubt, doubts or queries you can tweet to me at hi underscore Mohit Gupta or you can also tweet to add the un unacademy or you can also leave a comment in the comment section of this video. Thanks a lot for watching.